Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Okay. I have now unfucked the problem yeah, that I had to... earlier. I was trying to find a good picture of two guys sitting on a couch. Okay. Anyway, here we are. Amazing Sp Spooderman. Amazing Spooderman. Spooderman. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, let's go for torn clothed fetish Spider-Man. Is it now the fetish? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it is. Like, I have a good feeling it is. Torn clothes, the subtle showing of skin. Mm. Hmm. Hey, with great power. What does it come with? No one ever said it in the in the, in the movies. Or ever. In any sort of Spider-Man series at all, we don't talk about that line. Okay, shut up about it. Yeah, um, um, Cliff Robertson, Uncle Ben said it. Oh yeah, he's dead, by the way. Uncle Ben's dead. What a surprise! <laughs> he's dead for real. Oh, rest in peace. Yeah. Okay, this looks better, but not by much, but better. Yeah, like we essentially did a take of this, so we got to like maybe the first real mission of the game, and then and the textures were horrible then because we did the textures wrong. Well, I, actually, that was all me. That was oh, what was also on Connor is that for some reason the game didn't really record the footage. This, this is take fucking two. Hey, hey, it's the hobo. Not a real hobo. It's probably one of them fake hobos. <laughs> fake hobos. Those yeah, are th paid to be hobos. And this guy. Look! Look how far he ran from the store to here. You fat lazy shit. I mean, I know it's America, but come on. I've you know I haven't seen a lot of fat people when I was in America. I think it depends on where you go. Mm. To be fair, Mexico's now the fattest country in the world, not America. Mm. That's because they get fed all them burritos. And cheese. A lot of cheese. No offense to any Mexicans out there, we love you. Yeah, We love all races. Especially your enchiladas. <laughs> the enchilada race. <laughs> Where's Crazy Steve? Hey, um, speaking of Crazy Steve, you know the, um, you know the guy who played as, um, what was it, Fred from iCarly? Yeah. He got married recently. Oh. And he right. had, a, and he had a beard on him, and he doesn't look that different. He was always baby-faced. I remember that much. I just remember he... Jerry Trainer is amazing in anything. Yeah. I still think Jerry Trainer and Jim Carrey should team up. Yeah. Hey, Frank West. Joke from he, Reese. He, literally, the Peter Parker, he looks nothing like Andrew Garfield. He looks more like a young Frank West. So we've now made a headcanon of Frank West was Spider-Man before he was covering wars, you know. Can you imagine, can you imagine Spider-Man carrying around a paddle saw? <laughs> can you imagine Spider-Man in any sort of Dead Rising game? There is Marvel Zombies, so... <laughs> Yeah, but those aren't new zombies. Those are zombies that are still smart. Yeah, those were the uh, running zombies. Well, Spider-Man was more of a swinging zombie, but you know. Well, well, he couldn't really run anymore since he lost his leg. Mm. What can you do? Mm. That spider ass, though. Yeah, spider bird, spider bird. Yeah, spider gluteus maximus is ready. Yeah, got. I feel sorry for Andrew Garfield for when he has to wear the costumes. They look um, no, they look tight on him. I think that's, I, I think they take into account of like how tight something is to the point that it's like un like wearable. But I think he probably, probably would just look quite snug. He'd just be like wearing an extra tight onesie. Yeah, <laughs> an extra tight onesie made out of rubber. Actually, I would I would have said. 
I don't know. Was it made out of rubber? I wouldn't have said so. Nah. It was made out of something stretchy, like um, one of their morph suits, if that makes sense. Yeah. Better than tights, which could easily be shredded. And people would mistake you for being on a porno. Which, in fact, there is a, f a couple of Spider-Man pornos. There is, actually. Yeah, there is. But we're not going to say who, though. We don't want any... I'm pretty sure the little kids will get curious on what a porno is. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so all, all of our viewership, which we don't really know the age rating of. But, um... Let's get. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. The movie was not good. This game is not good. <laughs> Nothing about the Amazing Spider-Man Two was good. Movie or game or toy or whatever. Well, Andrew Garfield was pretty good, and so yeah. was Gwen Stacy. Well, Emma Stone, you mean? Emma Stone. Emma Stone is B. Yeah. Yeah. She. Yeah. She's pretty. Well, I feel I feel like she would have worked better as MJ because you know she's a redhead naturally. True, but she she manages she manages the blonde well, and to be honest, I really don't like MJ that much. Not not after Kirsten Dunst. Oh God, no. Yeah. Do you know who Kirsten Dunst reminds me of? Go the on. The woman who Pepper and Iron Man. Oh, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah, they don't look a wee bit similar to you. Now that you brought it up, uh, I don't I don't know where I've heard it from, but I remember hearing apparently Gwen Paltrow isn't an entirely nice person. Mm. That's just that's just what I've heard. She might be lovely. I'm not sure. Mm. Hey, um, you know that Marvel's been doing that all um, all new, all different thing going on. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, um, M MJ is going to be working with um, Iron Man now. Weird. Mm, yeah, but I'm I'm like I can get behind it. Oh no, Spooder Sense. Spooder Sense is tingling. Oh no, it's dead. Puddle. Oh hey, look, it's you know that one voice actor that played Lightning in Final Fantasy. Yeah. Mm. I like I like Black Cat's costume on this better than on the Amazing Spider-Man one. Or Spider-Man two. I mean, um, I mean, um, Amazing Spider-Man One. Sorry. I watched Spider-Man Two. If it was a black cat, can should be in a movie at some point. Uh. Uh, I, I don't know. I, f I feel like Spider would fit better in a TV show than a movie. Well, yeah, he's eventually gonna get his own movie. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not particularly keen on that. It's Marvel, so I'm sure they'll do a good job. Yeah. It'd be cool to, if, um, during the Spider-Man Marvel movie, like, Daredevil makes an appearance. Mm. I can see that happening, actually. In fact, um, in fact, uh, Daredevil and Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist are going to cross over. Uh, is, Iron, is Iron Fist got his own show yet? Not yet. you think he would. Hmm. I mean, so far, it's only Daredevil and... Jessica Jones and Luke Cage, and at the near end of uh, March 25th, The Punisher. Mm. How is uh, the Jessica Jones thing, by the way? Um, I like it. It's actually pretty good. Is Luke Cage in that? Is that where he makes his appearance? Yeah. Yeah, um, Luke Cage is... I only, call me a comic new, but I only ever found out that him and Jessica Jones got together by playing Lego Avengers. And had a kid. <laughs> the spawn of Kane and Jessica Jones, that'd be interesting. Yeah. And David Tennant was um, pretty good, cool as um, Kilgrave too. Mm, or, I like to think. Yeah, or the Purple Man, as he's called. Which is a lame name. Nath and Marvel confirmed. <laughs> mm. yeah, although... I, still, I, I still want to see that movie and I hope to God it's amazingly horrible. <laughs> like fa like FNAF World? Well, it's not, FNAF or isn't amazingly horrible, it's just not very good. Mm. But you know, I'm, 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 I'm actually looking forward to it coming out, like, getting re-released and retouched stuff, you know, I'll play that. People said the same thing about Batman Arkham Knight, that's still a piece of shit. Well, no, except for, you know, the guy who makes FNAF, Friday Night's Afraid, he kind of does stick to his word. Mm. 
Yeah, do you want to know something bullshit? Mm. You know the PC version of Mortal Kombat X? Yeah. Since there's since there's going to be a um X, a um I guess you can say a street a Street Fighter for arcade edition esque upgrade, the PC version won't get it. Hmm. Then again, then again, the game's kind of broke. Hmm. Actually, I don't. Actually, I might be lying. It could be fixed for all now because I still I still have the game in my library and I've not installed it since. So you if know, I actually have PS4, I would actually consider getting the new Street Fighter because I actually, I actually feel interested in it. Hmm. And do I actually really good about the new Street Fighter? What? Ken is no longer original character doing a steal. <laughs> You're right. Uh, I'm looking forward to Street Fighter V as well, but I'm kind of debating to myself if I want it on the PS4 or the um, PC. Because, mm -hmm. you know, with the PC, you can mod it. True. That was amazing last time. Um, what did you think of the web swinging in this game? Uh. It's got weight to it. The web rush is useful. It's a bit... It's a lot more, I guess you can say, more realistic than the web swinging. Mm. <gasps> Detective version. <laughs> Except we're not seeing skeletons. Yeah. Oh. Combat, you shall see many of this. You know, I was about to do Batman Arkham Knight earlier today. I wouldn't. Because it's too big? I would say so. Okay, well, maybe start off with some of the DLC packs. Yeah, that could work. Just like, we're kind of trying to hold off on big products until Shade gets back in this week. Which is going to be a while, depending on how, how like, he goes. Hopefully, like, if all goes well, end of February. Hmm. <clears throat> um, have we already got cuts in our suit? God damn it! Cutscene what? We've already got cuts in our suit. Uh, wait! Oh god! I I just noticed that. Mm. Yeah. Thanks for pointing that out to me. I mean, how much does this thing need to get stitched? A lot. Plus, if this thing got caught up anymore, there won't be any suit left. He'd only have to make spidey tidies. You <laughs> think he actually has that? Which, which, hap which actually happened, because there was this um, villain who had the power to um, mani manipulate thread. Mm -hmm. And she, like, and that villain stripped um, Spidey of um, his suit, at least, on, at least up to the um, mask. I was chatting with uh, one of my friends the other day, because like, he's like a big Marvel fan, and he likes cinematic universe and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. We said, um, when Infinity War comes around, you have like characters like Ant-Man, Black Panther, Spider-Man, Thanos, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. He said, back to this one part of the Infinity War comics, where everyone's tied up except Spider-Man, and Spider-Man, who's like 17 at this time, so fuck it, and tries to kick Thanos, account. Thanos is just like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I'd like to see that. I wonder who this is. Hello, Shocker. <laughs> oh, you gave it away. Do you know the only good thing I like about the about the Amazing Spider-Man 2 costume? Mm -hmm. It's the eyes. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Wait, where are the tears? They're just gone. You see cutscenes heal everything. <laughs> I would say probably my favourite rendition of Shocker and uh, Spider-Man would probably be the spectacular one where he was Texan. Oh, yeah. Spectacular Spider-Man had everything right. Then it got cancelled. I forget why. Uh, because because uh, Disney and Sony negotiated. Um, and I'm like, well, why couldn't you have just continued with the show then? <laughs> oh, please, Spider Man, give you anything. Money, women, men? You know, there's only one good thing that happened to, 
that the Amazing Spider-Man 2 did. Mm -hmm. um, like, you know, Andrew Garfield got himself fired from Sony just so Marvel can get the rights to Spider-Man back. At least the movie rights. Mm -hmm. I mean, he practically sacrificed his career for that. Yeah. Which is... Which I know is sad, but... I'm sure he'll do well again. Oh yeah, I've got a feeling he will. Also, uh, if you guys look back there, do you remember how in stuff like Mass Effect where you had a conversation system and it actually went somewhere? Yeah, you don't get that in this game. You get a conversation and literally you can skip it all and not miss a thing. Nothing in this game matters. <laughs> hey, suit level up. I actually like that system. You know, where the, um, the suits are different from each other. Like, yeah. if I had, uh, like, you know, if I had no more extended range on stealth. I just noticed, hmm, that's the first time I noticed that was there. Yeah, that's a keeper. Yay, comic book unlock. Yay. The comics on this are actually pretty cool, though. Hmm. Like, you know how like every, practically every single Marvel thing always takes place in New York. Yeah. Like, no matter how many times New York is put in a game, you can never na navigate the same way you would with any other game. Uh, oh yeah, that is that is true. Like for a city that's constantly reused, it always looks different in every game it's in. Yeah, except for, except for um, GTA Four. Yeah. You know, I tried to, you know, I wanted to install a Spidey mod onto that, but I was, it was a bit complicated. And you want to know the saddest part about that mod? Mm. It looked better than this. <laughs> okay, uh, it's always bad when mods actually are better than the game. <laughs> I actually once saw a mod for this where the um, where the uh, textures and graphics on this improved, but I haven't found that. It's like the same sort of set like um, logic behind someone taking the Man of Steel and then putting in the original color effects and it looking actually better. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I kind of like that Superman costume. No, I, like, I don't mind. I'm not saying the costume is it. I'm just like. When they brightened up the colors, it looked better. Mm. They're being all gloom and doom. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> also, um, there's a guy in my college who, like, he tried to like stay away from like most of the things about this Batman Superman movie just because he wanted to go in like with a very like fresh mindset of the movie when he watches it. Oh. Mm. And he, caught, he caught me looking up something and I said, "What's that?" Oh. Yeah. You know how it was Batman and Superman? Or Superman? Yeah. Nah, they did later team up to fight, you know, the, a big ninja turtle. <laughs> that's what he was. That's what Doomsday was. <clears throat> Voice crack. That's how he was like, that's Doomsday? Yeah. But I'm all the spikes. Well, you might go for your puberty during the fight and then grow the hair. Hmm. And it's like, why has Lex Luthor got curly hair? Although, you see, I can't explain that. Did he stop? Did he stop you? No, he's like, no, he's like, why is that little forgot here? Oh, well, you see, he thought when he created Facebook that was him. Hey, yeah. hey, also, I'm playing, I'm playing your favorite activity. Fuck this thing. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it in the air. I fucking hate all these fucking stupid burning building scenes because they're absolutely god awful. Uh, hey, what about at least the ones on the rooftop aren't that bad? Ones at the rooftop are okay, but fucking navigating through these buildings are god awful. Because, like, this, the spider sense doesn't even help you, it just confuses you more and where you're fucking going. Oh boy, much obliged, Spidey. Oh boy, much obliged, Spidey. I'm Stan Lee. Can you tell I don't actually act whenever I do any of this? Yeah, do you want to know something weird? Um, you know, when I, um, you know, after watching um, the. The um, Spider-Man movies, like the Tobey Maguire ones, then watching Iron Man 3, I thought they were in the same universe. 
How can you tell? Uh, because Stan Lee was in all three of the movies. Yeah. Stan Lee was like in practically every single Marvel related movie. Except for Fan Four Stick. Well, yeah, because even he doesn't really associate it with that shit. You know, you know a comic book movie's bad when Stan Lee doesn't appear in it. My big question about movies now is that uh, who are they going to get to replace Hugh Jackman? Uh, well, like, at one point they'll need to replace Captain America. To which I say, just give it to Bucky. You know, just saying. Or Falcon. Or Falcon. Either way, they're both Captain America at one point. Mm. But like. How could you follow up from... I, I checked this. The first X-Men movie, the first time Hugh Jackman appeared with Wolverine was the year 2000. God, I feel old. So for, the, so for like maybe possibly 17 years, 18 years, like that's a whole teenagehood of child, of like generations that Hugh Jackman has always been seen as Wolverine. Who are you going to get to follow that? Well, Hugh Jackman didn't say he'd he'd be okay with Tom Hardy being Wolverine. Ah, I can actually see that. Hmm. Nah, yeah. And like, it's not like Snake, where it's just replacing a voice; it's just replacing a whole look. Hmm. Oh yeah, because um, because Solid Snake got replaced. Um, uh, Big Boss and Solid Snake's actor got replaced with um Keith Sutherland. Well, I think does a fine job. Even like, though he barely said anything. Yeah, but even still, like, he did fine considering you had David Hayter to follow. Hmm. The most iconically gravelly voice ever. Yeah. What? What? I have a question. Why didn't he? Why didn't he voice Shadow? You know, in all, you know, in re in recent Sonic games. I don't know. Like. Uh, can I can't just say this is like Easter egg heaven run by Stan Lee himself, just saying. Yeah, look, here we have um, Scarlet Spider, Scarlet Sp Spider Monkey. That's oh. odd. Oh wait, no, I remember this. Um, there was a there was a there was a universe where all the heroes were apes, you know, down by the attitude. Well, down I to the I attitude. Actually, I, I think I actually remember that because I think I remember seeing like um <laughs> like a Hulk. Gorilla at one point. Mm. And uh, oh yeah, and the and the Marvel apes fought the Marvel zombies. Mm. And here we have um Spider Girl. Yeah, the the original. I remember there being a black spider girl. Uh, yeah, yeah, um Ar Arana Arana something. It's a yeah, legit like Oh there she is. <laughs> yeah, that's her. Even though that's her old costume. Spider Ham. Miles Morales, that, Noir, Silver Sable, Slingers, Spider-Man 29, and everything you can, everything Spidey related you can think is in here. I actually want some of these shirts. <laughs> Maybe a poster. Oh, that guy over there is Ultimate Mysterio. Uh, the dumbest. <laughs> the dumbest. Wasn't there a blue Ghost Rider? A blue... I I don't remember. I'm sure there was one look up. But yeah, like just fall well, it's like I think Kirk Thornton who played Shadow in the latest Sony games, like I've seen what he's done in the past and like he is a good voice actor. But the voice that they've had him do for Shadow just like it will grow on me eventually, but at the moment it's still like quite off putting. Yeah, then, look, it, for some reason, for me, it's, it fitted well in, in um, Sonic Boom. Yeah, but even then, it was quite still quite hammed up. Also, the same actor as, the same actor for Raiden on Metal Gear plays Silver. That is quite funny. Yeah. But then when you think about it, like, Kirk Thornton and Silver... Um, were both in Kingdom Hearts games and they were actually like Kurt Thornton and, Quint and Quentin Flynn were both two characters in Kingdom Hearts 2 and they were meant to be best friends so Shadow and Silver are best friends in alternate universes <laughs> plus every time plus I'm pretty sh plus 
I'm pretty sure that I've heard Silver voice, Silver's voice at one point, and I'm like, he just sounds like Raiden. Mm -hmm. That could be me, though. I can kind of see where you're coming from. Plus, just imagine Silver shooting, using rocket launchers to shoot at Metal Gear Rays. Hmm. And sword fight one in the future. And get faced by nano machines. That are filling up Eggman with muscles. Oh, okay. Just. Du, 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 du. <laughs> hey, um, you remember Alistair Smythe? Yeah. Yeah, he was on The Amazing Spider Man 1. And he made okay. Spider Slayers. Mm -hmm. And that snake, and that snake, um, that snake looking robot you saw earlier in the, um, intro. Oh. Yeah, that was one of them. And his third one, his third spider slayer is a straight up Metal Gear. Hmm. Oh, that, okay, he just popped out of the car again. <laughs> mm. What is that? Okay, so yeah, there was a blue ghost rider called Danny Ketch. Oh. <gasps> um, Oh. Hmm. Bye. <laughs> yeah, he he was Air Six One Six. Oh, that that's mainstream. That's yeah. the mainstream universe. I mean, Man, he might be Ghost Rider after Johnny Blaze. Hmm. Yeah, I, I remember there was a Ghost Rider that has a, that has a car. There was also a female Ghost Rider, which was part of the Agent Venom team. Mm. Yeah, which is the Thunderbolts, which are the equivalent of the Suicide Squad, only not bad guys. I thought it was a pretty interesting team matchup. Mm. Also, Joe is kind of weird. Yeah. You know Red She-Hulk? Mm -hmm. And how that's technically... Bloodstains! That's technically Thunderbolt Ross's daughter. Yeah. Red She-Hulk, like, is... T the girl who, like, the human girl who is Red really She-Hulk is Bruce Banner's love interest. Yeah, Betty. She-Hulk is actually Hulk's cousin. What are you doing with this family tree? I don't like what you're doing with it. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's, a fact. that's what I heard. Like, Red She-Hulk is technically, like, DNA cousins with the Hulk. No, uh, technically. Yeah. Uh, well, well, the fact that they added Carnage in this game kind of puts me off a lot. <laughs> like, you really are not needed. Second of all, he was unneeded. You have Carnage before you even show anything related to Venom. Why? Because because Sony was planning a, a Venom spin-off. They were they were planning on making a Spider-Man cinematic universe. That's the equivalent of the Marvel of Marvels. To be fair, Spider-Man's probably got the biggest universe out of any Marvel character. Yeah. Hmm. He's... I guess you could say he's practically the... The... The Flash of Marvel. I guess so. There are a lot of Flashes. Hmm. Have you, have you watched the uh, Flash show recently? No, but many have told me to. Uh, you def... I think you'd enjoy it more than Arrow. And people say I was either like you really like it or you really don't like it. Mm. I yeah. Don't know. Like I, I, I don't have like. I feel like you need to watch a lot of shows. But I just never get around to doing it. Mm. Well, that's why I have. That's why I have Sky, just to record. Just to record them. Mm, true. Oh. Well done, Connor. Okay, that wasn't me. That was the game doing that. <laughs> the game is sure you hit everything but the train. I'm grieving for my killer. I mean, my uncle's killer. Peter, it's been two years. I don't care. <laughs> Batman's still brooding, you don't have to. <laughs> Low blow. Low blow. Tch. What did you think of, like, the costume choices for this game? 
Oh, they were better than them using Spider-Man 1's costume choices, that's for sure. Because most of the costumes on the first game were black. Uh... It does look quite orangey. Yeah, like Marvel vs. Capcom orangey. Of course. I just, that can't, sometimes I miss the wrestling suit from the um, Tobey Maguire movie. Yeah. Look at all these wonderful DLC costumes. <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> you know all these dance moves. All all the way the spiny moves on this were um. Uh, what do you call it? Done with a uh, mocap. Mhm. Mm uh. Yeah, yeah, let, let's go with this one. Okay. In our first take, we went with black suits, and now we're going to go with iron suit. Yeah. Actually, it's... Shame, like, whenever, like, you get to play as Iron Spider, you never get to use the tentacles. You mean the legs? Yeah. You know, um, on Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, Spidey has the um, Iron Spider costume, and he has the legs on the back. Hmm. Although the gold on that game wasn't that good. It looks, it looks like a platinum blonde gold. If that makes sense. Yeah. Also in the superior, like, see the superior Iron Man in Lego Marvel. I was kind of annoyed the legs in that one couldn't move. What do you mean? Like in Lego Marvel superheroes, when you can play like a made like superior Spider Man, like the legs were just there. They yeah. Really do oh yeah, yeah. He should have been a Doc Ock skin. Makes sense, right? Yeah, it would. Doc Ock is surprisingly fun to play in the in, um, Lego Marvel. Yeah, and so is Kamala Khan. You know the, you know the noodly arms. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine if Mr. Fantastic ran like that? Yeah. He'd be like, "Come here! I'm coming for you! I'm coming for you!" <laughs> no, I don't want to move on. My uncle is dead. You heard Whitney Chang. Also, is it me or does his head seem small? It's not the same as condoning. A wee bit. Mm. Like, it looks like he beefed out over the years. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Frank West. <laughs> you, here's a thought. You ever think um, Jane Foster thought I would ever make an appearance in the MCU? Yeah, I think it depends on how Thor 3 will play out. Mm. That could be the reason we like, you know, Chris Hemsworth has a contract as well, and when that's to be like, eh, you can go for female Thor. Mm. Yeah, well, you know that, um, you know, real Thor's not really dead. Yeah. Mm. And it's just practically just being a dude. Teaching um, Natalie Portman on how to be Thor. Yeah. Natalie Portman couldn't save Thor too. No. Nah. Not even the girl that like was that was Natalie. That was the other girl that wasn't Natalie Portman could save Thor too because she was horrible. Uh, wait, which one? Cat something, I think her name. Was. Oh, oh yeah, the the comedy girl. She was not comedy, she was just annoying as all fuck. Hmm. Whee. Whee. <laughs> yeah. Uh. You know, I like the third, I like the first movie. Oh. Okay. The first movie? Yeah. I thought it was good, for mm. what they did. But, and, I think the only successful thing that Thor 2 Thor 2 did was give a surprise twist. You mean the ending? No, well, that, and the, um, you know when Thor and Loki's mom died? Yeah. I was not expecting that, and I felt kind of bad. Yeah. Okay, hopefully the flashbang won't glitch out on us. So you, that was kind of like a, like, a complete random shot. Yeah. Meanwhile, 
Meanwhile, Malekith gets shafted so hard by Loki. Malekith was barely even a threat in the second floor, maybe. Yeah, he was. Plus, you know the you know the final fight between Thor and Malekith? Yeah. All I could think of was a watered-down version of the final fight from Man of Steel. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> I know that. Even the Dark World itself wasn't all that great to look at. Because it's a like barren from, wasteland. It just like it was something called the Dark World. It was boring. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the Shade Dimension. I just hope Ragnarok's good. But it depends on what kind of Ragnarok they're going to go for. Oh, uh, well, maybe just the prophecy of it. Like, Ragnarok, it also means the end of Asgard. True, but it could also mean, like, you know, Robo Thor. Yeah, the, the Thor that everyone recently discovered <laughs> on LEGO yeah. Avengers. Yeah, they're like, wait, what? There's a robot Thor? It's like, yeah? He just reminds me of Cyborg Superman. <laughs> if, you've, if you've heard of that guy. Yeah, I've once or twice. Which I was actually kind of surprised to hear about. Hmm. How many people hated how Ultron was in the Age of Ultron movie? I I didn't. I thought he was okay, but like some people, were, they didn't like the fact that he was, he was humorous. Hmm. Because, you know, Ultron, Ultron are just an unthinking, calculating, killing machine. And, you know, in the movie, he's fucking sings Pinocchio. Hmm. <laughs> I liked him. I thought it was okay. Can you imagine him singing other I, Disney songs? Hmm? You seen that how how it should have ended on um, the Age of Ultron teaser, where he was yeah. singing Disney songs? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> but like, I do think it's a bit rubbish that like version completely eradicated him, especially when there's a lot to Ultron, mm. and now you know, Ultron is now gone forever. Yeah. Thwip, thwip, thwip. Well, at least you didn't see Ultron in the um, U Avengers United We Stand cartoon. Because mm. that cartoon was essentially Power Rangers. Or at least any Sentai, really. Because um, yeah. everyone had power armor on that. And where did that guy go? Where did he... Where did... Oh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Can you tell him being sneaky with his shiny armor? Yeah, like you picked the worst suit for stealth, probably. I don't think it really matters. Like you can stealth with anything. True. I am Amadeus Cho. God no! Don't fucking bring him up, please. I'm sorry. That's one of the few good things that Ultimate Spider-Man did. Well, not Amadeus Cho, but bringing out the Iron Spider suit. Yeah. Do that. Do you know how? Like, did you hear that? Apparently, there's a chance that Hulk might spe actually start speaking more in Thor Ragnarok. Hmm. What do you mean? You mean like he does on um on Avengers Assemble, the cartoon? I mean. Like. He slowly starts to converse more, like not start having full on conversation, but he actually starts talking instead of just growling all the time. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, that's what I don't like about, I don't like the way Disney's kind of handling Hulk. Like, even when he's calm, he's still Hulk. Like, yeah. Bruce Banner's just completely gone. I guess that kind of was meant to show the extremity of the, like, the change. Either that or it's just to give Universal a big F you. Because they still own the rights to Hulk. True. Hmm. I know. Like, if they, if they went, if they were, if they ended up going towards World War Hulk, that'd be cool. Hmm. Considering it's meant to be Hulk at his absolute strongest when he decimates cities by himself. Hmm. Well, nope, Universal. You know something weird? Uh, do you you know Nemo? If yes, <laughs> aka the aka the only character that can be more boring than Aquaman. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Universal sells the movie rights to him. Like they've had them since 
early 2000s. They haven't done anything with him. When did they even get that? What the rights? Yeah. This was before Mar. This was before Marvel became a became a film studio. Oh. And you know. And you know, Marvel was just, you know, giving away their uh, movie rights just to um, get some cash because the nineties weren't really good, good for them. Yeah. And, you know, now they're just trying to, now they're trying to get the rights back um, from, well, Fox and Universal. Yeah. I'm, I'm just wondering why, I'm just wondering why does Fox, why does Fox need the rights to Fantastic Four? They just want to keep them, I think, just despite. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think there's only one, one. One way to get around that whole problem. Just have the human torch. Yeah, like the old human torch. No, just no the Johnny Storm human torch. Oh. He's he's like the interest the most interesting character out of Fantastic Four. Yeah. What the Did you ever um I once saw this picture, it was like you know like the whole phase free lineup thing that like Marvel did a presentation on? Mm-hmm. I saw one where they replaced all the movies with Howard the Duck, Howard the Duck, Howard the Duck, Howard the Duck. <laughs> yeah, George, you know, did you know that George Lucas made um, Howard the Duck? Yes. <sighs> that movie still gives me nightmares. Because, because, like, because a chick was about to have intercourse with an anthropomorphic duck. That and duck tits. <laughs> oh. What was going through George Lucas's mind when he did that? Fuck knows, but someone had to make that puppet. That's the sad part. Oh, wait, what's this guy? Oh, hello. <laughs> Which way do I go? Where is he? Where, where is he? B B Bill? Bill? <laughs> hey guys, have you seen Bill? I will say the stealth sections in these games are actually pretty good. Oh yeah. Although the animations of the takedowns do get stale over time. Yeah. Well, I think the stealth on the um, first game was actually done a lot. I wouldn't say better, but easier. Because mm -hmm. um, you get an upgrade where you can uh, stealth take down two guys at once. Mm -hmm. I forgot Gambit was going to get his own movie. I don't know when that is. Uh, that's October. Oh, this October? Yeah. Hmm. Something to look forward to, I guess? Mm, I guess so. I feel like I've forgotten something. Oh. No, never mind. I didn't forget anything. I was just being me. Do you want to hear the um, superhero movies for the next couple of years? The what? Do you want to hear the lineup for the superhero movies we've got in the next couple of years? Uh, no, I'm good. I'd rather keep it a surprise. Oh. What the? God, can you imagine if um, Game Grumps were playing this? Oh god, no. No, Aaron would be like, eh, it's not in my hand too much. Aaron just complains about everything. I want to see Aaron play Yu-Gi-Oh, just see him lose his shit over it. No. Do, you, do you know what Aaron reminds me of with his um, beard? Yeah. Um, it reminds me of, um... I forgot his name now. Um, he was in that one movie with Will Ferrell where he's um, trying to run an office. He had a, he had a, he was, um, he had a mustache. Anchorman? No, not Anchorman. Um. It, it was also from Parks and Recreation. If. Are you sure it was Will Ferrell? No, it's not Will Ferrell. Um.
I think it was Ron Perlman. I could be wrong on that. Why can't they all be like that? Um. Good. I'm trying to think. I can I can't really think. Is it? Is it? Uh, see if it's Ron Perlman. The same guy that Hellboy Ron Perlman. No. Because Ron Perlman was the guy that did Hellboy. I forgot his. Look, either way, he had a must. Well, either way, he had a mustache, and he looks like, and Aaron looks like him, but with long hair. Uh, okay, I'm trying. I'm trying to think. Like, Ben. Was it from that office Wait. movie with the? Is it the office movie with that whole like that would be great meme came from? Nah. Hold on. Try look up. Try looking up Ron. I think it's Ron Swanson. I know it's Ron something. Actually, we well, might have before Ron Swanson, actually. <laughs> the guy who was on Parks and Recreation. Yeah. Yeah, he has that mustache. That might be him. Mm. Yeah, that's who I'm talking about. Okay. I mean, doesn't doesn't I mean, doesn't Aaron look look like him to you only with longer hair? Mm, Aaron probably wouldn't have that kind of a mustache, but yeah, I can see where he comes from. No, it's just the way. He, it's just how angry he looks. Yeah, I can't see that. Hey, it's the Shock Master. Hey, I'm, uh, hi, I'm, I'm Shocker. I like, I like the um, I like the engram they got for the suit though. Yeah. So, Shocker was never really electricity, was it? No, he was more or less vibrations. Yeah. In fact, you want to know something? You want to know something bad? What? I I have a sh I have a I have a Shocker toy. Well, I still have it from when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. It it had this gimmick where it would vibrate. Like you wind oh. it you wind it up and it would vibrate. I see where that's going. Well, oh, and I'm just like that's just. That's about as bad as the Harry, the Harry Potter broom. Hmm. Oh. That was a, that was a weird toy. Plus, he was, he was hunched over, for some odd reason. Okay, so Shocker can project concentrated blasts of compressed air that vibrates at an intense frequency. Huh. I like the look of the hoodie. Is that um, the yellow hoodie he has? Yeah, like the design's pretty decent in this game. It looks warm, strangely enough. Mm. I'd probably have a hoodie like that. Maybe just not like color. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Yellow's kind of gaudy. Well, not to me anyway. Mm, done and done the wrong way. Yeah, yellow can. Yeah. Well. Although, do you want? Although, do you want to make this character worse? Hmm. If he was black. Why? Black and yellow. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gee, stop jumping. You think he would be able to fly with those over the years? I'm surprised. I'm surprised how agile he is because he just got those things. Yeah. I don't. Maybe, maybe he's got cushions underneath him. Ow! Whoop! Well, come on! I've not. I've not. Yeah. yeah. I've not played this game. Like I know I've played it recently, but I'm just too rusty at this. I think anyone would judge you for not being great at this game. Because you can't really. Because you, you can't really go bad or good on this game. It's. This game just spoon feeds your enemies. Yeah. Uh, Do you hear that when you're trying when you're like the boss is on its final like inches of health and it just refuses to stay fucking still? Yeah, I've had plenty of that on Metal Gear Rising. 
Which I could have done an LP of. Or may maybe that or Transformers. QTA. If you did the, the Metal Gear one, just go for an overpowered run where you where you have the ultimate sword and the next skin hat. It would make it so much funnier. Hmm. Yeah, look, I got tears, sort of. He sounds, he sounds like that pubescent Tina at a fast food restaurant. I ain't going back, man. <laughs> you can't make me work at McDonald's. I'm well, pretty motherfucker. You know what they do to guys like me in jail? Don't care. Uh huh. Fuck you. <laughs> now, as much as I made fun of these things, they're pretty clever. I could get this kind of kinetic energy into my webbing. Now who's the this is a dumb power rope. <laughs> yeah. Especially those web graphics, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's just. Uh... I'm not super big on these. Yeah. Uh, well, um. Oh, wait, we got a cutscene after this. Yeah. Oh, gee, Hmm? Oh, look. A gigantic bald man with a cane. I wonder who this will be. <laughs> this guy looks like he's been doing meth. Harry Osborne, of course. Well, his, da his, his daddy never loved him. To be fair, he was slowly but surely looking like... I, to be honest, the guy who played him in the movie didn't look that great to begin with. Then he just slowly but surely went to shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about you, but I don't think it's physically possible to be that big. Or at least have hands that large. You could crush your skull with just his hand. I know. Hey Kingpin, aren't you gonna fight Daredevil? And I'm sorry, the devil from Hell's Kitchen? Yeah, Kingpin was Daredevil's original villain, wasn't it? No, he was Spidey's No, he was Spidey's villain, but his rival with with Daredevil goes is bigger than Spider-Man's. Uh, okay. Also, fuck these guys. <laughs> the guy, the guys on the glider. Just anything about that special unit. As soon as that's in the game, it's it makes the game worse. Because <laughs> mm. it's like, hey, guess what? You need to do these annoying missions. Why? Because we'll shoot you on sight then. Believe it or not, I'd rather fight normal cops than those guys if I was a menace. Those would be a lot more interesting to fight than these power troopers. Or, you know, those sniper turrets that are out of fucking nowhere. And those... Or Organic spaceships that you need to take fucking ten minutes to kill. What those spider slayers? Yeah. I hate those things. Though, believe it or not, they were fun. I'll just wait until you die of the disease. I just find them way too annoying. God, he sounds like a fat guy too. <laughs> and he sounds like I I I I'll wait for your daddy to die. I'm a gremlin. <laughs> Gee, I, w I wonder who's gonna steal the, the blueprints for those. That reminds me of a Transformer. Like, those cars look like Transformers. <laughs> Sooner or later, they'll just start, end up turning into one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's Activision, they have the rights. Ugh. And I think that'll do it for this part. Let's just... Uh... Fuck these guys. Shoot him! Life is a great big bang! Wherever there's a hang! You'll find a Spider-Man!